Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Reverts here and the headquarters is a really cool little social space for you, your friends, and people all across the world in the Call of Duty community. However, recently it has been a little bit difficult for some lobbies to populate, but I think that issue has been resolved, at least it has for me for now. But one thing I do want to discuss with you guys is the HQ flak gun event. And I haven't heard nothing about this except during the summer. I believe Kondry was talking about it, but besides that, there hasn't been a lot of details. Now, a few days ago, I bought the Call of Duty World War II Strategy Guide by Prima Games. And beneath the headquarters section, there's a bit more detail about the flak gun event. And it says, every 30 minutes, a warning will flash on screen to alert of the impending Axis attack on the Allied HQ. Therefore, AA gun placements scattered across the HQ use them to fight off the attackers. An Allied air transport will dump its cargo that Axis forces will attempt to destroy in mid-air. Hop into one of the AA gun placements, aim up, and fire at the enemy aircraft with a red outline to protect the cargo until it reaches the ground. Once the cargo hits the ground, you will have approximately 10 seconds to retrieve its contents. If you don't collect the cargo before the time runs out, the cargo disappears. Collecting the cargo, on the other hand, results in armory credits for everyone who participates. But the thing is, the flat gun event is not in the game yet. And I'm not sure if it's going to be added sooner or later. I'm not really all too sure. They haven't really given us a timetable. But it's just as of right now, every 30 minutes, the event does not happen inside the headquarters. Now, you could just wait every 30 minutes for the event to happen and continue to earn your rewards. Or even in between two or three matches, you and your friends can group up together and work on taking those aircrafts down. And I think it'd be pretty cool if Sledgehammer added a couple other events to the headquarters. Like, I was thinking a wave of zombies will spawn underneath the beach. And then everyone in the lobby has to work together to kill all the horde of zombies and of course there would be a special reward for doing that like maybe you could get a few zombie supply drops or something like that i don't know i think there's a lot more innovations that such hammer can do with the headquarters or maybe there could be uh, an attack from uh, from all different kinds of areas on the map and then everyone has to defend that area there, like i said there's just so much the devs can do to make the hq even more interactive with everyone and so far they're doing a really good job of that i'm a huge fan of the headquarters and i think it's definitely one of the best innovations to ever come to a call of duty game now like like I said, I'm not sure if the headquarters will be online before this video goes live because the servers are still having problems. But by next week for sure, everything should be good to go. Or even in just a few days, that's what I'm really, really hoping for. I did say in my last video that Sledgehammer should do something to compensate for the lost time we've had inside the headquarters. And just overall connection online, they should definitely give us some free supply drops or double XP. Because whenever a issue like this happens in a video game, uh, they usually give some sort of a compensation. So hopefully Sledgehammer does that. And it's it just really, really sad because a lot of people had, you know, a lot of hype going into this game. They were very, very excited and they couldn't even play on day one. And it's still having issues even through the entire weekend. Uh, but again, I do think that everything should be fixed by next week, that's for sure. If it's not, then that's very, very unfortunate and such Hammer really needs to get their stuff together. Honestly, I see a lot of people saying that it's the headquarters fault. The headquarters are the reason why the servers are down. Uh, I don't really know if that is the exact issue, but I guess I could see where they're coming from. But uh, who knows? I think the servers should just uh, already be perfect by now. We're in an era right now where technology is at an all-time high. And every single year, there's always some kind of new device or gadget that comes out. And it's like, wow, we, I can't believe we're this in this era of technology right now, you know? And uh, I, I believe that the servers should not be crashing on a day one video game launch. But again, everything should be good to go by next week, hopefully. And if you guys want to buy this Prima Game Strategy Guide for World War II, I'm going to have a link to the online version in the bottom of this video. Uh, it's only $10. It's very, very cheap. And it has a lot of information about multiplayer and a campaign and zombies as well. But I'm really paying attention to the multiplayer side. But if you guys do want the hard copy of this book, I'm going to have a link to the Best Buy, GameStop, and Walmart. And also Target there as well. So if you guys want to go pick that up, it's going to be there. And uh, so yeah, it's very, very cool. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, so don't get me wrong. I just think if you are a huge COD fan and you like looking at stats or tips or anything like that, then this book is definitely for you. So guys, that's it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, then drop a like. And uh, tell me your thoughts about the headquarters flat gun event in the comment section down below. And thanks so much for watching. I'm a very tough aggressive of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.